Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I don't know what to say, I don't have a preamble plan today. Are we really on? We must be on Ascension 11, because I can't go higher than that. Well, I'll have you know, on the bike this morning, I beat Ascension 13. And that's with the, I don't know, 8-inch screen, like, three feet away from me, and my eyes aren't that good. Let's just say I, it's time for me to go back to the optician and probably get a new prescription. So I'm, I'm not guaranteeing a win. That would be ridiculous. But I'm feeling pretty, like, my morale is relatively high, especially when that's the option we get as our... Uh, Neow's blessing, or whatever the heck the nerds are calling it these days. I'm sorry, okay, I just don't, I don't know the canonical names. I call it the, the boss swap, even though you don't always swap. It's just the kind of guy I am. Now, I will say, I was thinking about it today, I was mulling it over. And you know, as well as I do, the interesting thing about, like, a, a model for something, is that it's necessarily not fully correct, you know, it's an approximation. Of, of what happens in real life. That being said, I have a model for the ironclad. I'm realizing the, the phase one of the model survive long enough to have the ability to choose a lane. And there's all, I think in my opinion, there's two lanes. Okay. There might be three, but I, I, as of right now, there's two that are reliable. So how do you survive long enough to pick a lane? How do you, how do you get off the on ramp and end up on the highway? Attacks. You need some attacks early so you don't die against the early enemies. Then you pick a way to scale your block or you pick a way to scale your strength. And if you could, I, I should say I do that. I, you can do whatever you want, but that's been working out for me. You beat the first boss, you get demon form. You, okay, maybe it's a strength build. Maybe I take a Reaper to sustain myself from the damage that I'm going to take. And I play the Reaper when I'm at like plus 18 strength or something like that. And I can't be killed. Or you get like a Barricade, Impervious, Entrench, Calipers, something like that. And you go, okay, we're going to get to 999 block and play one body slam and kill the enemy. I don't know what to take here, by the way. I was stalling. Um... I'm just going to take a flex. I'm not thrilled about it, but I'll, I'll do it. And I will certainly take the gold here. Remove regret. And now let's see what we're cooking with. I'm sorry. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a very simple man. I see a chemical X. I'm like, I think whirlwind is merely an uncommon. I feel like we got to give that a chance. And I, I mean, I do. Hand of Greed would have been a nice choice as well, to be honest, if I had paid attention and seen it. I think I'll take a wild strike just so we have some extra damage early. Let me see. So a flex, I can do 16 damage or I could do 18 damage. Let's do 18 damage and kill you. The flex, to be honest with you, I don't think it's a bad card, but I'm not thrilled that I took it. It hasn't been a major part of my, my average ironclad run, but... Uh, there's a first time for everything. I do, I like a Sever Soul. I do like a Perfected Strike too, man. I don't know, like one Perfected Strike early when it feels like you really need it. I think there's something to be said about that. Limit Break, I mean, th there's a world in which Limit Break works, but it's kind of hard to finesse it. I'm actually just going to take an Armaments and then upgrade it right off the bat, and then hope that it hits multiple things to upgrade. I'm a big one armaments in the deck sort of guy. I'm gonna wake you up. I'm gonna wake you up with a potion. I'm gonna wake you up. This would do 26 damage. This will do 8 and increase. Give me the 26 now. The 26 plus the vulnerability. I didn't even consider the vulnerability. So I think everything's fine. We're certainly, like, deeply on the lookout for a, uh, a Whirlwind. I don't even know, are there any other, like, X-cost cards in the Ironclad's repertoire? Like a True Grit, I like a True Grit. Am I, the, the question is, like, how greedy do you want to be, right? Because, like, there is another Elite. I think we got to skip that Elite, maybe, and... Ah, oh, but if we beat that, no, 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 skip that Elite. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's a little greedy. <laughs> a little greedy just to get two strikes uh, leveled up, but uh, Tay on the bright side, Tungsten Rod really saved us a little bit of damage in there, wouldn't you say? Let's make sure we take zero. I, ideally, I'd love to fight that other elite on the way to the top here. 
it's what we wanted to see. There's Whirlwind right there. Now that doesn't guarantee that we win, but it's it feels nice. Let's cut a basic defend, keep the deck thin, and then hope we get the obelisks and then hit him with a relatively early whirlwind. And I'm not saying the world's our oyster, but we can play a whirlwind for 25 damage. Uh, in that case, let's play a little block here. We don't have to play it for 25, but... So flex, 7 times this, 35 damage. We would take 10 off the top. Or we could do 28 damage, and we're going to draw enough... Okay, so play one defense, 28 damage. We need two attacks in all likelihood to kill this sentry, and then I think that that's a, a reasonable price to pay. I should have done this. I, I should have done the two sixes on the middle and then the nine on this sentry, but hopefully it doesn't come back to bite us. It, it, it hasn't really come back to bite us yet, but I'm, I'm still a little annoyed with myself. There we go. Horn cleat, very, very valuable indeed. I'm a seeing red sort of guy. I could, I could see a world in which seeing red is like very advantageous for us. Holy cow, we almost got him on the first turn. Now let's see, um, I, I want to see who the boss is, which I could have looked at literally at any time. Guardian. Guardian's a tough one for me. I feel like that I have to rest unless we get like a disarm here. No disarm. I'm going to take a shrug. I think the extra defense is relevant. It's tough because there's definitely like a world in which we don't have to rest. And getting an upgrade on Whirlwind before the next floor would be really nice. I'm going to I'm gonna take my chances. Uh, there, the, Tungsten Rod should help us out a little bit. We don't really have any form of scaling, which is kind of like... Uh, that, that's what scares me, because we just need like one bad draw and kind of the whole system falls apart here. Uh, I can I guess at least hit you for 10. We do have a speed potion. That helps. Let's let's take a Sneko Eye real quick, because, uh, I mean, we literally just didn't draw blocks. So, actually ended up kind of turning out okay. I'm not going to play anything else, though. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I don't know, I'm overly scared, maybe, but... Uh, I think we kind of have to play a Perfected Strike just because it's our best card, which means we definitely should have played a Flex, but whatever. Uh, this is 48 damage, and the Bash still costs zero. So I'm, I'm looking pretty vindicated right now, but... You definitely don't want to... You don't want to be too greedy. A zero-cost Bash is really... is something to look forward to, let's put it that way. I said shrug for 11. And really, all we want to do is draw Whirlwind, like, on this turn every time. And if you can draw Bash on the same turn, like, that's even better. You have 2 HP left, and okay, so the first floor is under control. Now, have we picked a lane yet? We haven't really picked a lane yet. Let me look at our deck real quick. This deck, we could go either way, and we don't even necessarily need to think of the game in terms of just archetypes like Strength or Barricade, but... A strength build would go crazy here with this Whirlwind plus Chemical X. I'm just thinking... Exhume sometimes is, is really, really nice, but this definitely feels more like a demon form deck. And I think it also feels... Because we have such expensive cards, I think we can sustain Velvet Choker. And not it's not for every deck, but I've really... I've come around on this. I used to think it was like something you take never. And if you ever take it, it's a mistake. And then I've, I, I know I've achieved true Slay the Spire enlightenment. Because now, the answer to every question people ask me about the game is, it depends. <laughs> it's situational. I don't know what to say, but it is situational, man. This one really grinds my gears, but... Is what it is. Well, wait a second. 13 damage, 13. It doesn't grind my gears at all, actually. It doesn't grind my gears at all. I just love a true grit. Over time, it means we'll draw our whirlwind more frequently as well. Uh, starting with one artifact has to be the play, even if it means we can't remove a card. Because then the first time I play flex, and we I love battle trance as well, but the first time we play flex, 
will just gain. Um, hang on, this is it's all coming too fast. The first time we f play flex, we'll gain two to four strength depending on whether or not it's upgraded. So I'm a I'm a believer in that one. I'm also a believer in the 50-50 here. I appreciate that a great deal. <laughs> So with demon form, I, again, I took it, and then you might be like, but you're not even like doing anything with it right now. You play this for five. There's some truth to that. I'm still going to play Battle Trance because I want to draw um, Ritual Dagger faster. There's some truth to that, but the other thing worth saying, I think, is that we don't really mind uh, not playing demon form as it stands right now. We only need it for like long fights, so elites and maybe boss fights. I was I was really stalling for Ritual Dagger. I really tried to make it work, guys. I kind of like Iron Wave, but I, I can't shake the feeling we already got something pretty good going on here. Give me... Um, Flex is not upgraded yet, but it might get there with an Armaments. Give me a Ritual Dagger, and then we if we want to make Ritual Dagger work, we should really try to hit hallway fights. Even more so than elites. The hallway fights are just easier to sort of... Finesse. Oh, I see the problem. <laughs> now he's getting it. He's getting it. What's the problem? When I play Battle Trance, it's nullifying the effect because of my artifact. Which is, like, not bad. Like, it's nice to be able to draw cards, but we'd rather use it to get some strength, for sure. Would I rather just play this? I don't really want to kill you, is the thing. I want to take you close enough so that you die to Ritual Dagger for our long-term success. This does... Tw okay, well, we need to, like, get an attack that costs zero or less than zero. <laughs> um, you may just want to finish the job on that one and preserve your HP. I'll take an upgraded flex. I could, I could see a world in which that does something for us. And then let's upgrade the other one, too. At the worst case scenario, it's good fodder for um, letter opener. Okay, so flex me. It's four free strength. You're definitely not going to die. We, we've had, like, some poor... Timing from Ritual Dagger so far, but I, I've got high hopes that we can at least get it going a little bit. You know what build I've, I've been meaning to try but haven't had the chance to try yet is um, Exhum Ritual Dagger. Exhum Feed is, is interesting too, but I feel like Exhum Ritual Dagger is just like more interesting. It's more interesting to try to get a, a build that Hang on, this is a big one. Uh, that gets like a stupid amount of damage instead of like a stupid amount of max HP. Because max HP isn't always like anything. Okay. Wait, just this is a perfect ritual dagger. It's the perfect ritual dagger. Okay. I mean, it's like, unless you play the timekeeper, like why wouldn't you want a, a war cry plus? I could see not wanting a war cry, but a war cry plus. That's every day, bro. So how are things going? If I'm being 100% honest, like not as it's not as clean as I would have thought. Like I'm not playing Battle Trance just because I, I want to get... Oh, I guess blocking that is actually pretty good as well, but... Okay, five... I doubt we're going to be able to stall for Ritual Dagger, but I guess, like, it's not a stall if we just can't get there. Oh, we, <laughs> we got there. Hmm. I think it's still a skip. We got to be able to get it. Like, don't lose the forest through the trees, right? Like, we... There's more important stuff in life than just getting Ritual Dagger to pop, but, like... It does make a difference. 17 block, okay. You know what we need? This, this deck is not in an amazing position right now because we're obviously losing too much HP. So how do we stop losing so much HP? 
Um, well, maybe that's the wrong way of looking at it. Maybe instead of looking at it like, whoops, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think I had it in me. I will take a second win. Thank you for asking. Um, I think instead of looking at it like, how do we stop losing HP? We should start looking at it like, how fast can we get a Reaper in this deck? None on this turn. I will take a Lantern. Like a, a Reaper would, would tie the whole thing together. Not that into well, heavy blade is kind of like it's kind of an important card now that I think about it. We we need something that plays off of our strength more than just you know an attack. It's hard for me. Well, you know what? No, no, no. Play a play a barricade. I don't necessarily think it's like the perfect synergy for what we got going on, but and I don't mind. Get rid of it. See it. See it never. So I don't think this is a second wind opportunity, but at the very least, Barricade plays nicely with um, with Horn Cleat, right? There's always that. There's always Horn Cleat, guys. Let's have True Grit exhaust that. Just because second wind is like potentially a very valuable card if we start drawing wounds or something like that. We really want to see uh, Flex so we can gain some strength. Barring that, and it is, it's barred, people. It's fully barred. We're going to play a very disheartening turn, <laughs> but still be alive. There's the flex. And then a demon form and, and maybe just an armaments keep us in the game here. Like what, if we had a Reaper right now, I would be 0% concerned, but obviously we don't. So obviously I am. You need to take 42 damage. We're doing 66 damage. We're doing 84 damage, which means we can put a bash on you without worrying about it. Okay. We got to be able to survive. Like, this is the turn. This is the turn you have to survive. And then, on top of surviving this turn, which we did barely, we have to kill you in the next two turns. With some pretty good attacks coming up, to be fair. Um, I guess we want like an Armaments Strike, Perfected Strike. And then next turn, I don't think we got the sauce. Just with one... Uh, heavy Blade is 62. You could Heavy Blade... <laughs> heavy Blade, Battle Trance, Heavy Blade... And it still doesn't get you there! Okay, what about... You You literally have no choice but to play a second wind. But first you can shrug, and then second wind. 33 block, man. 33 block. We lived with one because of Tungsten Blade! <laughs> Hang on, we gotta... You don't have to crunch the numbers. Okay, not Tungsten Blade. Tungsten Rod. Easy, man. Easiest, uh, easiest win of my life. Okay. New play, zero caustic zoom, double ritual dagger. Can we afford to not upgrade any cards? The problem is you, you reach a point where you're butting up against Velvet Choker. So I think we have to take Black Star because we already took an energy relic in Velvet Choker. Um, this is like this run's got to get very serious very fast. I want to and this is like a, a very high risk setup. I want to do as many hallway fights as possible. Because we really want to get Ritual Dagger popping as fast as it can pop. Let me see. Oh, right. We can't draw. So what do we want to see next turn? We'd rather see Heavy Blade next turn. So that we have more strength from demon form. Does 56. I have to kill you. I, Ritual Dagger is secondary. It's, I, it's all I talk about, but it's secondary. <laughs> How about this one? I mean, we could just play our cards, right? This does 14 damage. It's perfect. Perfect. Can I, can I say it? Can I say it? Ritual Dagger. A perfect Ritual Dagger setup right there. Take the shot. Um, not, not the best whirlwind you're ever going to see. 
I mean, it's real hard for me to just say play nothing on this one, just because like you you fall behind against the spikers so quickly. Uh, what a what a turn we've got here. I guess I could have yeah, we should have because with letter opener, that's one way we can do damage without taking damage ourselves. You just wait till Exum shows up, buddy. Okay. You think you're a hot shot right now, huh? Well, well, let's see how much of a hot shot you are. When I've hit you with Ritual Dagger for 35 damage. And then... Put Second Wind on top of my deck so that I can play it and then maybe play an attack next turn on top of that. If I had any. <laughs> I can, at least I can get Letter Opener out there. 94 damage on Heavy Blade. What a dream come true, man. And we got double Ritual Dagger popping there. Sword Boomerang is the, the sort of attack we need in our lives. It's like a horrible first turn. This does nine, this does nine, okay. So yeah, the, the first turn is, is horrible, horrendous, but... I think we stand a, a pretty good chance now. We don't necessarily need to play this right now, but it's like if we play a second wind, we exhaust some cards I actually like. If we play a true grit, we might exhaust a card I actually like, etc., etc. It's war cry. We basically do not need to see an exhum. Maybe we'll get a ritual dagger exhum combo on the next turn, and that, that's not to get ritual dagger to pop because that's not conceivable. But it will at least allow us to play two attacks and possibly not take damage. This does 41 by itself. This does 61. 61. 9 damage. Let's just play this. I mean, honestly... I'd feel a need to play nothing else. We just need to survive one turn, man. I think it's pretty good. Maybe not the best we could have hoped for, but... Not too bad. Not too bad, all things considered. Fairy in a bottle, very nice. Other cards, non-essential to put it politely. It is really hard to not take a limit break here. Like a limit break and cut a basic defense. Because we're not going to be able to play this slow against Dono Deca. They're probably the easiest bosses we could face here, although maybe not on this specific build. Got a shrug. Okay, that's not what you want to see. Sorry to limit break, but I, I genuinely, I don't think we need it on a short fight. Although the, when you have it, it'll make the fight shorter. <laughs> so it's, all right, it's a little confusing. Um, I think you should play Ritual Dagger, just so you can target it easier with an Exhum later. And then I'm like, okay, well I think... Six times this probably kills you. It would be really nice to get Ritual Dagger to work, but is it worth... I don't think it's worth the potential loss of HP, man. Although, what if I could just... What if I could just get you close to dying with, like, that? What do we need? 40 damage? Okay, we literally just have to do the math, which is not always my strong suit. There you go. Let's... I think we should rest Elite and then we have a choice afterwards. We don't really want those. And if the Elite fight goes wrong, well, let's just take solace in the fact that we probably wouldn't have beaten the boss anyway in that situation. Give me a war cry that draws a flex. Holy cow, it worked. <laughs> dump, uh, you know what? Dump, uh, defend. Because next turn we can't do much damage anyway. Flex on him. Limit break on him. Give me an armaments. We're going to draw a defend anyway. Now that I think that happens all the time. And honestly, I would say that's a, a perfectly good start here. At least we got a one damage from letter opener in like the least valuable time you could possibly make that happen. 
sword boomerang is gonna it's gonna hurt so good as they say I hate to say it but I think it's the kind of run where you, you do exhaust your exhume this ritual dagger malarkey is uh, I mean it's starting to fall apart but speaking of falling apart not a whole lot we can do on that turn we didn't draw any blocks but this is when you don't mind having you know fairy in a jar sitting back there I mean, buddy, I think we owe it to ourselves to try to make it work. <laughs> Rit Ritual Dagger is not... Oh, no, no, no. It's not as important as I thought that it would have been, but that's because we're gaining so much strength. But, of course... I guess if I could just... We should have killed you on the turn before. Or at least put the damage out there. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. We don't exhaust too, too many cards. I'm glad we rested before, though. At least we get to keep the potion. I, I do think, like, maybe in spite of myself, I do think it's a winnable run. Uh, that's not smart. We should have taken the headbutt to bring back Limit Break. Take 70 gold. And give me extra decks. You already know what I'm going to say. And you don't want me to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. You already know what I'm going to say. Beautiful. What I'm going to say is we could probably pretty easily get two Ritual Daggers to pop on this fight. I know at this point you're like, NL, no, man, no. Order. 54 damage. You got to go, man. It's just, it's got to happen. Yeah, we could probably get one Ritual Dagger to go on this fight. <laughs> We could probably get none ritual daggers to go on this fight. We don't need an explosion potion. That's a, that's a joke at this stage in my life. Let's just take the question marks, man. We, we <laughs> I think our, our plan failed, but we still managed to like make it. I think you can dump a perfected strike at this point and then do give me a rest and headbutt for limit break. Okay, so the, like this is very, very losable to be clear, but if we get things in the right order, it could definitely be one. Getting a flex is very, very valuable. Because that allows us to get the strength early. Then battle trance into whatever we were going to draw anyway. Probably don't need to play seeing red. But we got to go fast. We got to get the strength whipping around real quick. Because these guys, you know, you got to kill one within the first four or five turns to have a chance. So let's... That's fine. I'll, I'll live with it. I played six cards. <laughs> So a, an early limit break would be crazy. And uh, I'm sorry to do it, brother, but it's got to be done. An early limit break would really hit the spot. Without an early limit break, you, you don't have a choice. You have to play demon form. And we'll headbutt battle trance to try to ensure that we can draw limit break faster. You can like flex limit break. We'll still battle trance, but you probably just want to... Honestly, not a horrible turn to exhume a second wind. And maybe, like... We don't want to accidentally draw a whirlwind. So I, I was thinking shrug second wind, but... We could just bash... And play second wind instead, and at least we, we built up like a reasonable amount of block. This is a great whirlwind turn, and if I was just gonna say if we could get limit break as well, then everything is coming up roses, man. <laughs> they didn't think it could be done. What can I say? I didn't think it could be done, but everything sort of came together at the end there. Ascension 12 unlocked, and the model has been validated. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!